It's a slow Monday night in the case. It's a slow Monday night in the case. We've got just two games on the platter, but there is a twist in both of them. My name is Andrea Sachinko, and you're watching the LKHL update. We travel to Neversibirsk first off as Sibir play host to Optima Ballest. The Verst has opened up the score in mid of the first period. It seems that it deflects in of Georgi Delauso, but actually it's Pavel Kulikov who is credited with his first of the year. Sibir got back even early in the second period. Yurki Yaki Pocket tries to feed Oleg Lee at the far post, but he hit a drunk with scores in his own net instead. After on the least, make it a 2 1 hockey game just over a minute later. Former Regina Pat Sergis Borowski takes a shot from the midpoint and it goes in as Harry Sattery collides with his own defenseman. A few minutes go by and Sibir score their first power play goal of the game. Kyle Rockman at his second of the season. Soon after that, Yaki Baka scores his second of the game and third of the year. This one also comes in a power play and Sibir lead 3-2. After on the list, tied up with just 9 seconds remaining to play in the second period, Anatoly Goloshev jams it home from the doorstep for his fifth. Early in the third period, Sibir get back in the lead as Nikolai Timashov slams it past Vladimir Galkin to score his first of the season on his former team. A little later, no other but Pavel Datsy puts it home from the slot off a feed by Alexei Makayev. Anatoly Goloshev has the secondary assist on the play and it's a 4-4 tie. But Sibir still get a W in this one. Late in regulation, Daniel Romanson shields the puck, shoots from the left circle and beats Galkin on the glove side. And then Nikita Shashkov scores on the empty net to seal the deal. A goal fest in the Sibir scans with a win by the home side. 6-4 is the final. And now the high scoring game takes place in Moscow tonight and it's a rivalry as Spartak face Dynamo. The blue and white get on the board first. Five and a half minutes into the first period, Vadim Shipachov slides it past Yulis Hudachev 5 hole. Spartak converted a two man advantage seven minutes later. Sergei Shirokov beats Ivan Bacharov on the rebound. Second period now and Spartak get in the lead. Lukas Rydo redirects it into the back of the net off a great pass by Andrei Kutekin. And a few minutes later, Swedish import defenseman Emil Yusi fires it home on a power play from the high slot. The red and white extend their lead to 4 1 early in the third period. Robin Gonzalez scores his first of the season to convert on yet another two man advantage. Dino swap of Ambacharov for better and Alexander Yuravenko in net, and then something magical happens. Dynamo allow just two shots on their net for the rest of the game and come all the way back to force overtime. First, Dmitry Yashkin makes it a two goal game. Shortly after that, Andrei Mironov brings Dynamo back to within one with just over 10 minutes to go in the third. And a few shifts later, Daniel Tarasov scores his fourth of the year and gets his third point of the night. It's a 4 4 tie, and they will have to decide this one in the shootout. But Spartak still walk away with two points from this one. Sergei Shiroka scores the winner in the sixth round. 5-4 is your final. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow we're going to have six more games for you to enjoy, including Metalurg against Lokomotiv and Avangard vs. Yakirid. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.